In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a low-poly car animation. This was a request from Louise King. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. I start by scaling the default cube into the size of a car. I make sure to apply all the scaling to make it easier when I start extruding and insetting faces. In edit mode, I add a vertical loop cut to define the hood from the rest of the car. And another loop cut to define the trunk. I add a horizontal loop cut down the center of the car from front to back. In wireframe mode, I delete the left side of the car and add a mirror modifier across the x-axis. I make sure I have clipping enabled so I won't have any holes between the two sides of the car. I then extrude the area that will be the car's interior. And scale it down along the X and Y axes. I select the top edge of the hood and move it down along the z-axis to give it a sloping profile. And do the same for the trunk. I select the face that will be the door's window and inset it. I then select the faces for the rear window and the windshield and inset them. Now here's a tip. If you hold down the B key, the center edges will line up and you won't end up with extra faces. I select all the inset windows and extrude them inwards toward the center of the car. I duplicate the face that is the lower part of the door. I then scale it down to the size of a door handle and move it into place. Extruding it as needed. I duplicate the face from the lower part of the door and scale it down to fit on the face at the bottom of the window. This will be the beginning of the side mirror. Extrude along the x-axis.
and then move the top edge up along the z-axis. I extrude the face again, and move the top edge up along the z-axis. I extrude the face twice more, scaling the last extrusion along the z-axis. I then select the three back faces, inset them, and extrude them along the y-axis to form the mirror section. I duplicate the face from the front of the hood and scale it down to the size of a bumper. and then extrude it out along the y-axis. I then extrude it along the x-axis. and then add a cut using the knife tool to the back of the bumper. And then extrude the new face along the y-axis. I then add three edge loops and space them appropriately along the bumper. I then extrude them out from the bumper. I then separate the bumper from the rest of the car and tab back into object mode. I change the mirror modifier so the bumper mirrors along the X and Y axes to mirror it along the back of the car. I select the car and tab back into edit mode. I add a cylinder with eight sides and a triangle fan cap to act as the headlights. I rotate the cylinder around the x-axis 90 degrees and move it in front of the car. I temporarily turn clipping off and scale and move the lights into place.
I use circle select to select the front faces. I then inset the faces and extrude them back along the Y axis. I add a cube for the tail lights and scale it to the proper size. I had two loop cuts to divide the cube into three sections. I moved the loop cuts so there are three different sizes of faces. I then inset the faces and extrude them along the Y axis to finish the tail lights. In object mode, I apply the mirror modifiers. and join the car and bumpers. I add a cylinder with 16 faces. Rotating it around the Y axis 90 degrees. Then I move the cylinder into place for the tires. I select the car and add a boolean modifier with the cylinder as the object. And then apply the modifier. I add a mirror modifier along the X and Y axis with the car as the object. I then scale it down to the size of a tire. I move the tire into place. And apply the rotation and scale. In edit mode, I select the faces and inset them. extruding them back along the x-axis. I inset the faces one more time and extrude them out along the x-axis, scaling them down along the y and z-axis.
I apply the mirror modifier in object mode. I now add some flat shading to the model. For the lights, I changed the principal shader to an emission shader. I also add a plane to act as a road surface. I separate the tires from one another. I use shift right click to move the 3D cursor to the center of a tire. And then add an empty. I select the tire and the empty and parent them together. Under the animation workspace, I set up my camera and lights. I move the car and tires back along the y-axis to the starting point. I change the end frame to 48. This means this will be a 2 second animation at 24 frames per second. On frame 1 I select the car 
and add a key for location and rotation. On frame 48, I move the car along the y-axis to the final location and add a key for location and rotation. On frame 1, I select the empties individually and add a key for location and rotation. On frame 48, I move the tires to their final location and rotate each empty around the x-axis 360 degrees. I then add a key for location and rotation for each empty. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.